great Carlini, not the great, great Kylie. Carlini. Yeah, great Kylie. Fucking real. Yeah. I'm going to Korean. I'm going to Korean barbecue tonight. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. What? This what? is such a fucking Have you guys ever done that? mistake, that move. What? It's a Korean barbecue? Yeah, what about it? Take, he takes. I wonder takes. how much Carl could eat. Yeah. Plenty big. Ooh. Big. I the whole, business, night, man. whole night. Do you? Can you? I don't know. Can I? Carl, you are big. You know, big is big is beautiful. Only your body is big. You don't get any ideas. What's that? Hey, Kai, what is that? Yeah, like, you know, like, those guys that bring those, like, hot dog eating? Yeah. What the fuck did I do? Go over there, Kai. I want to find out. He found a new fucking move. Are you crying or what? Do I hear tears? I can make sure my car was okay. Yeah, I know. You have a car? Yeah, he's got a Alfa Romeo. Or Alfa Romeo? Yeah, brand new. Got a Ferrari. And a convertible um, something. I only use a Ferrari on the weekend. Smart. This is book. What? You're playing someone that has superior intelligence plus good <laughs> plus good looks and two brain cells and two brain. What? <laughs> you are playing a superior player, Davey. Plus mm -hmm. some good smell, David. Good smell. Good smell. Carl Goodsmell. He's been lazy before. Carl Goodsmell Carlini. Yeah, Carl Goodsmell Carlini. That's like an oxymoron. What do you mean, what? What do you mean, what? You mean what? What do you mean, what? Huh? Look, if you mean what, if, if, if uh, you know, you get a sugar coated. What? You get a sugar uh, poop. What? What's with this poop stuff? Hmm. Uh. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a thing. For now, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned there, wacky. Wacky. You heard me. Wacky Packy from Pakistani. I don't know. What you think? Just give me the pawn. That's all I need. Yeah. Hmm. This to me? To you? Running? What's wrong with a little running? Like a little sissy? I didn't say that part. Sissy is to me. Alright, so, uh. So what? So what? Alright, so what? What do you got? I don't know, so I go here. You see what go you here? Got. Yeah, what you got? This what's it? I don't know, I'm thinking. You don't know? Alright, let me go. Are you going here? I'm gonna try it. There? Yeah. Give oh. that a whirl. All right, let's go here. Oh, you go backwards. Why can't I go backwards? Like a little sissy. Look, putts. All right, sir. Uh, time to die now. Why? Why it's now? It's just time. Is it? Yes. All right, so let's go in. That's going in? Why can't I go in? I think that's going in, huh? I think that it's in. Guys, really starting to uh, rig my roll. Starting to rig my roll. Something about a roll, I don't know. All right, so let's go here. You, you didn't take there. Of course, I take there. What's wrong with that? You want to see? No. Yeah, see. you want to see? No. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Honest. Honest. Go right. here. Go there. Go here. And what's he doing? I don't know. I probably win. 
Time to die, buddy. Why is it time to die? Because it is. It's time to die. Why is it time to die? It's time to die. It ain't time to die. I'm gonna use the Bulgarian thing. Bulgaria. I won't. I won't. Bulgaria. Bulgarian opening. If you use Bulgarian opening. Bulgarian opening. Bulgarian opening. Opening. Sarcastic. But here goes here. I will not mess with that. That sounds serious. I was just warming up. I believe it. I mean, it was pretty bad, but, you know. And that saves the day? I don't know. Are you sure? I'm not positive. Hey. Let's go here. Now, I wish you good luck. Isn't that nice of me to wish you good luck? Not really. You don't think that's nice? No. I thought it was okay, nice. Okay, now I go. Well, I don't know. I think it's good luck. Good luck now. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Here is there. That's oh, good. It's good. Like it? Yeah, for me. Now I got here. Okay, go here. Okay, and now here we are, right? Exactly. Now you like your game, right? That's it's better. It could have been better. Could have been better. Could have been better. All right, let's see how we do now. Well, I mean, you know, really. Really? You take that. Of course. How could you take that? It's kind of simple. You can't take that. What do you mean I can't take that? You can't take it. Why Good can't night. I take it? Why can't I take it? Let me go in. <laughs> what? One. Hey guys, Brian here, and let's go over the game, see what we can learn from it. Usually I do a chess question of the day too, but uh, I like to throw in a random question of the day. Um, Gallup, they wrote an article, I think a couple of days ago, they said that negative emotion was at an all-time high in a decade at 2017. So, you know, negative emotions, there's like a million causes for them, like, you know, but I'm... I wonder if you guys, uh, what do you guys think about the link between social media and negative emotions slash mental health? Do you think social media like contributes negatively toward mental health or kind of what are your general thoughts on that? I'd be really curious to see what you guys think. All right, so everyone was wondering in this line, white plays e5 and then Carl plays queen a5. Is this knight for free? And what is the what is the trap here that black is setting up? And this is a line you kind of got to be careful about and there's going to be a lot of variation so let's just go through it and the answer is yes this knight is for free but white's got to be careful so e takes bishop check pawn takes and queen takes and bishop if white plays bishop d2 obviously that's a mistake yes it protects the rook but now the knight is cut off from protection so Everything is even after this, but let's go move back here. Instead of um, queen, uh, instead of bishop up, what happens if queen is up? Then you're thinking, oh, it hangs the rook, right? Yes, but white has a little trick up his sleeve that black um, has to look out for, and that is c3. And now this queen is very trappable, and if the black queen does not see it, if... Um, if black decides to get rid of that pawn instead, then knight here and the queen is trapped. It doesn't matter if it moves there, bishop here. So queen's just going to get as much material as it can for it. But let's go move back here and instead of um, taking here, what happens if um, black decides to get the hell out of here? So then you have the following, tempoing the queen up, 
takes rook over bishop to kind of control this important diagonal. And let's say uh, black blocks, then knight's going to come in threatening the check here. And there's really kind of nothing black can do here. It's kind of all his units are all gobbled up here. And this kind of, um, so black is just going to take here. And here comes the check. And where is this king going to go? Obviously, it doesn't want to be um, put under a uh, discovered check. And then kind of the knight scooping up the queen. So kind of only two options here. Let's say king goes to d7, then bishop check, king over, and a nice mate here, beautiful mate. And um, here in this position, let's say um, d7, check, and oh, I'm sorry, uh, black goes back, then knight check, and mate with the queen. Let's go back here. Um, knight check. Let's say king goes d8 this time. Then queen's going to come in. Check. Check. And this is not looking good for black here. <laughs> Oof. Some nasty stuff. So that line was very, there's a lot going on in that line. So, um, yeah, it's kind of tricky because if you've never seen it, you can burn a lot of time trying to calculate it. And, you know, in Blitz, you don't really have time to calculate. So, um, but a very interesting line to see. All right. And believe it or not, um, it looked like Black had no chance in the game, but he actually did here. White played Rook F3, and in the game, Black moved back, but if you want to go move back, pause the video. What's the best move for black here? Take advantage of the pin. And uh, rook down threatens and b5 to release the bishop for this battery and exchange. Easy win for uh, black here. So what can we learn from this game? Um, when your opponent kind of uh, takes you off book and things look a little weird, it's very, um, and I get to give props to Carl for his acting job. I think he should play poker. I think he'd be a good poker player. He's really good at uh, hiding his uh, emotions. Like You see it in the game too, like when he's losing, he'll um, throw in a sneaky check with his queen and then take your king afterwards. And yeah, he, he, he doesn't telegraph, He yeah, he doesn't telegraph his emotions, so that's good. But yeah, in this position, um, I don't know, I guess it depends on the type of player you are. Um, some people, why not, you know, take it, and if you get hustled, at least you kind of know what the line is. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you see nothing wrong, then just take it and force your opponent to prove it. So um, that's one way to kind of deal with that line. And here, always, always look out for pins. Pins are kind of uh, everywhere in chess, and... Just got to make sure you take advantage of them. All right. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the channel, you can uh, become a Patreon member. Get a lot of cool stuff. Um, access to the games people want to see. Analysis, interviews, Q&As, and a lot more. Also, there are links in the video description to, um, I think, uh, yeah, both of them. Carl and Dave both have uh, PayPal links. So if you guys want to buy them a coffee, then uh, you can do so. It's uh, The links are in the video description. So hope you guys enjoyed the game, and um, thanks. I'll see you guys later.